Hello from Who Died Today America, and welcome back to our channel. In the past few days, we have received somber news about the passing of extraordinary talents. Today's episode is dedicated to honoring their memory. Additionally, we will recap the stars whom we have recently lost. Before we begin, we kindly ask for your support. If this video or the legacies of these remarkable individuals have touched your life, please consider giving this video a thumbs up as a sign of respect and remembrance. Thank you. Sean Geringer, a young reality TV personality known for his appearance on season 6 of MTV's show, tragically passed away at the tender age of 20 after a devastating ATV accident in front of his home in Boone, North Carolina. Geringer, who had previously shared the screen with his ex Selena Gutierrez, leaves behind a lasting legacy through his two children, Dorelli and Esme, and his portrayal of young parenthood on the popular television series. According to his mother, Mary Hobbs, the accident occurred while Sean was merely moving the ATV to facilitate parking. The ground, weakened by rain and mud, gave way, causing the vehicle to flip and fatally injure Geringer. The immediate aftermath was a desperate and heart-wrenching scene as Hobbs sought help, only to return to her son's side, realizing the gravity of the situation. This moment, as recounted to the U.S. Sun, highlights the profound bond between mother and son, with Hobbs describing Sean as her rock and strength. The response from the Watauga County Sheriff's Office, as reported by the Watauga Democrat, underscored the community's sorrow over this unexpected loss. The accident not only claimed a life too soon, but also left a void in the hearts of those who knew Sean as Squishy, a nickname that endeared him to many for his kind and generous nature. Sean Geringer's obituary paints the picture of a vibrant soul with an adventurous spirit. His passions ranged from driving RC cars and skydiving to surfing and spending time in the ocean, encapsulating a life lived with zeal and a thirst for adventure. His appearance on MTV's show alongside Gutierrez introduced audiences to the challenges and realities faced by young parents, adding depth to his public persona and leaving an indelible mark on viewers and participants of the show alike. Sean's memory was honored in a service held in his hometown of Boone. The legacy of Sean Geringer, a young man who touched lives both on screen and off, will continue to resonate through his family, friends, and those inspired by his journey through life and parenthood at such a young age. The world of Broadway dimmed a little this year with the passing of the legendary Linda Balgord at 64. Revered for her powerful voice and captivating stage presence, she left an undeniable mark on audiences and fellow actors alike. While many may remember her best as Grizabella, the last to portray this iconic role in the original Cats, her talent shone beyond this singular performance. She also played Norma Desmond in the original Sunset Boulevard tour, handpicked by Andrew Lloyd Webber himself. Her dedication to her craft was further evident in her chilling portrayal of Madame Giry in both the Broadway and touring productions of The Phantom of the Opera. Balgard's versatility extended beyond Lloyd Webber's musicals. She tackled the complexities of Stephen Sondheim's work early in her career, most notably in Sunday in the Park with George, and the 2008 Broadway revival of Gypsy. Her exceptional talent was recognized with a Drama Desk Award nomination for her portrayal of Queen Elizabeth I in The Pirate Queen. Beyond Broadway, she graced regional stages with equally captivating performances in shows like Funny Girl, Evita, and Man of La Mancha. Linda Balgord's legacy extends far beyond the stage lights. Her marriage to fellow theater stalwart Andy Fenton, whom she met during Aspects of Love, marked a union of two passionate individuals dedicated to the world of theater. Her unwavering passion for storytelling, unforgettable performances, and contributions to the arts will forever be cherished by theater lovers worldwide. Rest in peace, Linda. The magic you brought to the stage will continue to inspire future generations. The world of children's television lost a legend this week with the passing of Janice Burgess, the woman behind the beloved show The Backyardigans. Janice passed away at 72 on March 2nd, just a day after her birthday, after a brave battle with breast cancer. 
Growing up in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Janice's love for stories and creativity blossomed early. Inspired by her childhood backyard adventures and her love for musicals, she went on to study art history in college. But her true calling was calling, and Janice soon found herself making a magical shift to the world of children's television. Janice's career was filled with bringing joy and imagination to kids. She worked on shows like 321 Contact and Ghost Rider. And when she joined Nickelodeon in 1995, her creativity exploded. She helped shape iconic programs like Blue's Clues and Little Bill, and even rose to become the vice president of Nick Jr. But her most famous creation is undoubtedly The Backyardigans, a show that perfectly blended her love for adventure and music with incredible animation. Launched in 2004, the show became a favorite for kids and parents alike, even winning Janice a Daytime Emmy Award. Janice wasn't just a TV exec. She was a visionary who believed in the power of imagination and storytelling to enrich children's lives. Her legacy will inspire generations of creators to come, and her infectious creativity and dedication to bringing joy to kids will never be forgotten. Rest in peace, Janice. Charlie Griff Griffin, a beloved figure known for his spirited presence on the National Geographic series Wicked Tuna, tragically passed away in a boating accident on March 4th, alongside his cherished dog, Layla. The accident occurred near the Oregon Inlet on the Outer Banks, an area well known to fans of the show. Griffin, who was 35 years old, was navigating from Virginia to Wanchisi, North Carolina, when his vessel, believed to have capsized, was later found ashore with both Griffin and his dog deceased. Griffin's contribution to Wicked Tuna Outer Banks, where he captained the fishing vessel Reels of Fortune from seasons two through five, showcased his expertise and passion for fishing. He fished alongside his only child, Jake, making his participation in the series a family affair that endeared him to viewers. Known for his big heart and adventurous spirit, Griffin's loss has deeply affected his family, friends, fellow cast members, and a wide audience who admired his dedication and love for the sea. The news of Griffin's passing was confirmed through an official statement on his Facebook page, which asked for thoughts and prayers for the family during this challenging time. National Geographic and Pilgrim Media Group also expressed their sorrow, highlighting Griffin's role in the fishing community and his impact on the series. As a spirited fisherman, Griffin's untimely departure marks a significant loss not only to the Wicked Tuna community, but also to the broader fishing and maritime communities. Griffin's legacy extends beyond the episodes of Wicked Tuna Outer Banks. His adventurous life, dedication to his craft, and the love he shared with his dog Layla and his son Jake resonate as a testament to his character. As the search continues for the unnamed individual who accompanied Griffin, the maritime community, friends, and fans, mourn the loss of a captain who brought so much life and joy to the perilous yet passionate world of tuna fishing. The series, which originally aired as Wicked Tuna, North vs. South, before becoming Wicked Tuna, Outer Banks, followed the competitive world of Atlantic bluefin tuna fishing off the coast of North Carolina. Griffin's participation in the series provided viewers with an intimate look at the challenges and triumphs of life at sea, making his passing a deeply felt loss. Cat Janis, this super-talented singer-songwriter who played a bunch of instruments, just passed away at her home in Virginia. She was only 31, and her cause of death was a type of cancer called sarcoma, according to her brother. Kat, whose real name was Catherine, was an inspiration to everyone. She shared her battle with cancer openly on social media, and even famous people like Jason Derulo were fans and showed their support. Kat started making music as a teen and kept at it throughout her 20s. Things got rough when she was diagnosed with this rare cancer. Even though she had surgery and chemo, she never stopped making music and kept her fans updated on TikTok. She showed how selfless she was by giving the rights to her songs to her son, Lauren, so he would be taken care of even after she was gone. Music was always Kat's jam. 
Her family loved music, and her mom used to be a radio DJ. Growing up around all that music helped her become the amazing artist she was. She even balanced being a musician with a cool job as a geospatial analyst after studying geology in college. Her album Modern Medicine came out in July 2023 while she was getting treated for cancer, and it showed how strong and passionate she was about music. The most important things in Kat's life were her music and her family, especially her husband Kyle and son Loren. Even when things were tough, she chose to focus on the good stuff, like love and making things. She spent her last weeks at home with her family, surrounded by love, music, and just enjoying the little things. She left a huge impression on everyone who knew her. Kat Janice's story, from being a music-loving kid to becoming a beloved artist and fighting cancer, is an amazing story of bravery, creativity, and the power of music. Wrestler Virgil, whose real name was Michael Jones, passed away at 72 after battling strokes and dementia. Born in Pennsylvania in 1951, Virgil left a big mark on the wrestling world. Most fans remember him from his eight years as Million Dollar Man Ted DiBiase's sidekick in the WWF, now WWE. He played a key role in some of the most famous wrestling stories of the late 80s and early 90s. He even turned on DiBiase, which made him a huge fan favorite. Winning the Million Dollar Championship from DiBiase at SummerSlam 1991 was a career highlight. Virgil also wrestled for WCW for four years under different names like Vincent and Mr. Jones. He was part of the NWO wrestling group and was there for some of their most memorable moments. Outside the ring, Virgil became a social media star thanks to the funny, lonely Virgil memes that showed him selling autographs at conventions and even train stations. Before wrestling fame, Virgil played college football and wrestled in college. He got into wrestling after meeting wrestler Tony Atlas and training with Afa from the Wild Samoans. Even after retiring, Virgil stayed in the public eye, going to wrestling events and doing projects about his career. He even acted in a movie and a documentary. Fans and fellow wrestlers supported Virgil as he faced health problems like dementia and colon cancer later in life. His passing marks the end of a wrestling legend but his in-ring moments will continue to entertain and inspire fans for years to come.